Walk the city streets in the Bay Area and there are techies everywhere with the next million dollar idea ready to lead a revolution. Former Stanford kicker Derek Belch kicked his Cardinal team into one of the biggest turnarounds in college football. 2007, a 42 point underdog stunned the sports world, beating USC. The Belch PAT at the end of the game, that was the difference. Most will tell you that changed the trajectory of Cardinal football forever. As our Ashley Adamson explains, Belch is at the forefront of technology that's now transforming how we see the game. Located in the heart of Silicon Valley, Stanford has long been at the forefront of the tech revolution. And with David Shaw at the helm, the Cardinal football program has maintained its place at the forefront of the college football landscape. Nobody thought they'd ever get to Pasadena, let alone secure a victory. Remarkable. And now, in the epicenter of technology, former Stanford kicker Derek Belch has created virtual reality software that is already helping Cardinal football and may ultimately change the game. Stanford, of course, is sort of the heartbeat of Silicon Valley with all the high tech stuff. Outside of this little bubble, not a lot of people can even spell virtual reality. They don't even know what it is. This is the way people think here. That's the Silicon Valley. That's Stanford University. This is a research institute. This is a place where we can try to say, what's next and how can we be at the forefront of what's next? The difference between this virtual reality technology and past attempts is that Belch's software uses real video instead of animation. They can simulate what the defense is going to be doing so their quarterbacks actually put on this face mask and go through their different protections. So how many hours am I going to have to use these things before I'm a starting quarterback? Well, so for someone like you or a fan, once we kind of teach you what you're looking at and you can memorize and learn to, learn to react quicker, just go do it on the field. So All why right, don't we check so this let's out? Try it. Okay. Yep. So I just put this on and put I become a quarterback. Yep. You know, football-wise, you are hearing exactly what's going on on the field. So on this particular play, he's changing the play call. You hear that. You, you, you go through the mental mechanics. All right, I would do this. The protection slides. You come over, and boom, we move on. This is unbelievable. <laughs> That's the reaction we like. You know, it's like watching your first 3D movie. When you put this, this headset on, you are in it. You're in the play. You are experiencing it. Now turn around look behind you. There's your running backs. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, this is really cool. And man, what a great resource to have. I would assume that that's going to be pretty much everywhere in the years to come. It's got a chance to be phenomenal as far as the amount of things that we can get student athletes to experience um, without actually technically being there. So we got incoming freshmen. They can almost feel experienced after a summer. We walk into training camp, they've already run these plays over and over again. They can make quicker decisions. Um, so going forward, this thing is, has a chance to be really exciting. I'll tell you this, uh, in 2015, no one in the Pac-12 is going to have this other than Stanford, and that, that's a big deal. If this kind of becomes the de facto way to train in the NFL and college and high school, and it started here, how cool is that? I'd make the argument it's very cool. <laughs> you've used it. You were actually, you had the spring game for us here at the Pac-12 Networks. So you've seen it up close and personal. What do you make of it? Yeah, you know, it's the natural progression of technology. You know, in the 90s, you had uh, Madden football, and the coaches would go through the two-minute drill like 300 times so they got better at doing the clock using Madden football on a video game. You know, before that, it was digital, digitizing the film. Before that, it was, you know, we went from 16 millimeter to video. It's the natural progression. Just wait for the next thing. It'll be even better. <laughs> I think it's amazing because the coach's job is to learn its learner, yep. right? How are these student athletes learning? What are high school kids learning through? How are they seeing the game? And I think for David Shaw and Derek Belch to go do this, it's amazing. I got to put it on, fellas, and it's uh, it's awesome. I mean, for football junkies, you get to kind of play again, so it's pretty fun as well. You can get a couple more snaps <laughs> in your career. My knees couldn't take it. I'd be dying. Few teams already around the country are signing up for this technology, none so far in the Pac-12 conference. I think Stanford, <laughs> at least right now, they are probably okay with that.